Welcome guys. In this video, I would like to work on our links over here in our sign in page. We have home sign up and sign in. What I would like to do is I would like to continue to display these three prior to a user signing in. But once the user does sign in, I would like to remove all these and have a logout button and a dashboard button. Now, in order to do that, let's go ahead and follow these notes. Uh, the first thing I want to do is import is authenticated. Uh, remember, it, it, this is a function that we had uh, set up to check the authenticity uh, that the user is authenticated. And we're going to make use of that inside our header component. It's been a while since we used this component, but this header component has takes care of all of our navigational links. Okay, so at the top, Go ahead and import. Let's go ahead and import that is authenticated. We're going to import and from go back one directory. It's inside our helpers folder and our off file. And pull out that function is authenticated. Now we can make use of it. Go ahead and mark that off. And the first thing here is we're going to do a condition to check if the user is not authenticated. I'm going to make use of that function, that logic over here, right, be go, right below the UL tag. Make some space. And I want you to do if not is authenticated, parentheses, because it is a function, and parentheses. All right, so whatever, if this condition is met, we're going to uh, display all of our, we're going to display our list tags in here or links. Now, before I go ahead and, this, and copy and paste these list tags into here, I have to bring in a fragment because you see here, our list tags are adjacent to each other. And remember that in React, we can't do that. We have to bypass that by using a fragment or one of the things we can do is to use a fragment. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in fragment and then make the use of that right inside here. Fragment. And now we can go ahead, go ahead and copy these three list tags. Copy onto your clipboard. Oh, wait, made a mistake there. All right, go ahead, copy. I'm gonna delete that for there. And paste it inside the fragment. Save. And if we go back to our application, okay, what happened here? Okay, there we go. All right, nothing seemed to change. Everything's the same, and that's what I expected because I want to check if the user we did if the user is not authenticated, meaning they're not logged in yet. We want to display these three links, so everything's working. However, my test is going to be that I want to test that once I sign in as John Doe, um, log in the user will be authenticated. Therefore, at that point, these links should not be displayed. So that's where my test is gonna be right now. I'm gonna sign in as John Doe. I should be redirected, but wait, I have all three of these links uh, still visible. Now, the reason for that is because right now in React, well, it, it, this header component is not aware of the changes, any changes that are made in the URL. It's not aware of any changes in the URL. Um, now, what I wanna do is I want to make this component aware that there's a change in the URL, and once it's aware of that change, this component will re-render itself. And the way we're gonna do that is with, uh, with router, with router and by the way there are different approaches you can take you know that's the way programming is right i mean there are different routes you can take and this is the route uh, this is the approach i can take but i'm sure maybe you guys you know maybe you guys might have some more clever ways or or or, or different approaches that you guys might have uh might think of but this is the approach that i decided to use is with router and because this is, by the way, this because this is a higher order component, uh, we have to we have to wrap this with router around the header. Okay. Now this sh should work. 
So let's go ahead and test that out. Well, currently, uh, right now, let's go ahead and uh, go to your Dev Tools and click on the Application tab. And here in Clear Storage, make sure you clear the site data because we're gonna start all over. All right. So in the URL, let's go and put sign in because we're gonna start over again. And if we look here in our nav, we have what we want it home sign up and sign in but let's go ahead and test this out that once i sign in that this sh these should be gone so i'm signed in and i'm redirected and now if i click on the hamburg on the menu look there's nothing there so now it works so again if it's not working for you um it's probably because you uh you haven't set up the with router so that's the way that's one of the ways you can bypass that or resolve that issue Let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, not is authenticated. Okay, so we did that, set up that logic, and we imported the with router to resolve that issue we were we were dealing with. The next one is another logical check here. I'm gonna copy this here. Go back to my headers. Uh, and as a matter of fact. No, okay, no, let me cop copy all this here. Copy all this here and paste below. And I'm gonna go here, copy this here. Copy that there and add an and, Oop. and. So I want you to set up this logical statement right here, okay? So it's saying if the user is authenticated and is authenticated row is equivalent to zero, meaning that this is a logged in user, then display this logic here. Now, what we don't want is we don't need two of these list tags here. So remove two of them, we should only have one. And for the home, change that to dashboard. And for the link, the URL path, change that to forward slash user and then dashboard because that is the condition that we're checking for is that it's a user that's logged in okay go ahead and save that if we go here you see that the refresher page and look we have we're already logged in from the previous test we did so automatically we see that we have a dashboard now okay and this is for the user dashboard, okay? Good, good, good. All right, go ahead and mark that off. And the next one is exact, pretty much identical to the previous one, but this one's checking if the role is one, meaning that it's a logged in admin user. So this one's gonna be simple. We can go ahead and copy this here, the, what we just got done doing for the regular, it's logged in user paste that below and just change this logic from change this row from zero to one to make him an admin and in the link go ahead and change this from user dashboard to admin dashboard all right and it's going to still say dashboard go ahead and save that now let's go ahead and test that okay currently we're signed in as a regular user Go to uh, clear the storage, clear site data, make to make sure the store local storage and cookies is empty. In the URL, go sign in, and we're going to sign in as a different person. Okay, previously we were just signed in as John Doe. John Doe is a regular user, but we have we want to we want to sign in as Jane Doe. All right, Jane Doe, I have her in the database. In the past video, we had set her up to be an admin, okay? So I'm signing in as Jane Doe, and I set her password to be the same as John Doe. So I can go ahead and sign in, and look over here before we do that. We currently, we have all this here, and if I sign in, redirect to the admin dashboard, and the same thing, I get admin dashboard, well, I get the dashboard link, but the link leads us to the URL admin dashboard. Great. All right, mark that off. And the final thing is is authenticated. 
Now this final logic is is to to set up our log out button. Okay, so go ahead, copy this here, the previous, paste, and we can delete some of this here. We only need to check if the user is authenticated, and then display a logout button. So change the dashboard to logout. Okay, just like that. Now you might be asking, well, why didn't you just put the logout button, uh, set up the logout link inside uh, for the for when we did the user dash uh, the user and the admin dash uh, dashboard? Well, we could have done that, but then I would have been repeating myself because I'll be adding logout here link and log logout link over here. But over here in this conditional check, I'm just checking if the user is authenticated, meaning it does not matter if he, if he or she is a user or an admin. In either case, I want them to have a logout button. That's why I did it. took this approach. Go ahead and uh, save that. And if we look here, look what we get. All right, we, we're currently logged in as admin and dashboard and logout available, uh, visible. Okay, so obviously the logout button is not functional. Uh, we don't, we haven't created the functionality, but we have the, we have it listed and visible here, and we will create the the functionality of it later. All right, but our objective is taken care of. Uh, we took care of everything, and that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.